Hello and welcome to Two Minutes of Anatomy. I am Dr. Donna Bozello of Championship Chiropractic in Las Vegas, Nevada. Today's episode is on the sacrum. In adults, the sacrum consists of five fused vertebrae. It is shaped like an inverted triangle. The posterior aspect is convex and the anterior aspect is concave. The shape and size of the sacrum make an ideal base for it to support the weight of the body. Four bilateral sacral foramina located both anteriorly and posteriorly give rise to the S1 to S4 spinal nerves. The S5 spinal nerve exits from the sacral hiatus. The superior aspect of the sacrum, named the sacral promontory, articulates superiorly with the L5 vertebral body of the lumbar spine, forming the lumbrosacral joint. This is the location of the L5 disc. The ala, nicknamed the wings of the sacrum, articulate bilaterally with the ilium, forming the sacroiliac joints. The inferior aspect of the sacrum articulates with the coccyx. The posterior aspect of the sacrum exhibits several numerous bony landmarks. The median sacral crest forms from the fusion of the first three sacral spinous processes. The intermediate sacral crest formed from the fusion of the articular processes, and the lateral sacral crest forms from the fusion of the transverse process. Several muscles attach to the sacrum. The piriformis attaches to the anterior aspect of the sacrum, and the posterior aspect is the origin for the gluteus maximus, the multifidi lumborum, and the erector spinae muscles.